Okay, fight commentary breakdowns here. We have a boxer in the headgear. And we got the body trim practitioner. Ooh, look at that move. Oh, wow. He should have had a combo with it. That was a cool move, but he got knocked down or he got pushed down or he fell. Who knows? But our boxer guy is trying to readjust his headgear. There we go. Look at that. He's like, I'm going to smack you with that move again for nice. That's a standard body chin type takedown. You see it in Sanda too. So for those of you who do body trim, please let us know what we're watching. Look at that person filming in the background, standing on the tires. Boxer throwing hooks. Sorry, uh, jabs. His issue is he ducks his head a little too much, see? Which, I don't know, might work for boxing, but you're also putting your face at risk for uppercuts, right? And in a non-boxing context, look at that. Um, you're putting your head at risk for kicks. So, Baju Chan is known for certain cool techniques like that. Like, very unorthodox striking. Unorthodox, as in, we've seen this in Kung Fu, but people who aren't used to Kung Fu don't see this stuff, right? And then, Baju Chan also has some amazing throws. So, depending on who you ask, Baju Chan has... A solid history of basically people who need to be protected using them. And I believe in the Huang Pu Jun Xiao, so where a lot of the Chinese military leaders came about after China modernized, the Ba Zhi Chen was the standard form of Kung Fu being taught. So he's oh, little little smack with his palm he did that again so i think this is the other angle this is the angle from the girl that was standing on the tires so he landed that strike but he still got pushed down so something about forward momentum or center of gravity or something that was probably the coolest throw i saw in this it's Sort of like a Vinga Chiva a little bit that you see in Capoeira. If you guys do Capoeira, no Vinga Chiva. So, you know, at the end of the day, there's only so many ways to throw people, right? So, a lot of styles that have effective throws or strikes will end up fusing together, looking sort of alike. So, our Bajichin almost has like a... Ouch, he ate that punch. He has almost like a modified Kung Fu version of a Philly shell. It's pretty cool. He used his shoulder. He rolled his shoulder to block a few punches from reaching his face. See, he's got that one hand there. So it's pretty cool. I guess if you have unorthodox angles of strikes that involve palm techniques and throws and, you know, almost like whip like hammer fist downwards, then you could probably do this sort of modified Philly shell style that he's doing a little sidekick and that's a great little throw you see in Sanda and stuff like that so this is really cool we got to see two angles of this spar session and I don't know if this is another angle or I guess depending on if it falls I think this is another angle yeah this is he falls so cool, we got to see three angles of this spar session. So I guess the lesson is if you're going to do that sort of um, unorthodox downward almost chop or hammer fist forearm type of technique, you got to be careful, right? You don't want to lose your balance. And so this is cool. Um, I will definitely in the pinned comments tell you guys how to find this channel on Billy Billy. I will not link off this because I don't know if YouTube is a fan of that. But I will give you guys all the right words to find this video. So sometimes he shields his head, right? The Baji Chen guy. Sometimes he goes into what I call the Kung Fu version of the Philly shell. That's when he took that hook from the boxer and he immediately elected to 
takedown. I don't know if the boxer got the memo that there was going to be takedowns, right? That was pretty cool. He entered not with a jab, almost with that sort of unorthodox angled hammer fist, and then he did a cross. So the chain punching he gives on the ground is almost reminiscent of what the Wing Chun people claim are how they do the chain punch. So way to telegraphed the boxer. Oh, the boxer um, threw one kick. So could be a kickboxer. But considering he only threw one kick, I'm going to call him a boxer. But it could be the case where that's not the real boxer. Ooh, a little spin kick. Nice. He wasn't looking at his opponent, though. Watch his face. See? He didn't look at his opponent. So that's something to keep in mind. Don't um, don't get your eyes off the opponent when you're doing that kind of kick. Oh, that was a cool little... He stepped in and did sort of like a lead hook, but I'm sure there's a name for it in Bai Chen. So it looks like, yeah, this is definitely a kickboxer. He's Maybe the first round he thought it was only boxing, but in this round he's definitely kicking more. Still, man, telegraphed. His uh, his overhand right is a little too telegraph. I mean, it's got a lot of force, but it's too telegraph. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, the way the Baji Chen guy throws his chain punches is not really balanced, man. He totally can get taken down or swept when he's doing his chain punch show off type thing. Oh, that was the spinning uh, back kick where he didn't look at his opponent when doing it. Oh, it's cool to see. It's cool to see Baji Chen guy throw kicks too. So, oh, that was. A really great combo, a double spin kick by, or maybe a roundhouse kick to a spin kick, but Baji Chen timed it to kind of jam him. Yeah, uh, see, he wasn't aiming his spin kick, the Baji Chen guy, so it ended up not um, even hitting the um, kickboxer. Yeah. Mm hmm. Look at his modified, almost Philly shell thing. That's really cool that his left hand is low, but it's still there to swing lead hooks. It's just harder to see, right, when it's down there. It's almost reminiscent of in the hood sometimes they have a similar stance, right, but they're not doing it on purpose. They just don't know how to fight in the hood. So, like, they have that stance too, but, like, they don't use it as strategically as this, Baji Chen guy is using. So I hope this shows this kickboxer is not just some fake kickboxer. His technique sure needs work, especially because he's doing kickboxing, but his stance is like a boxer. Look how wide his stance is. So that's something he needs to work on, right? If you're going to really do kickboxing, you should have a stance that's a little not as wide because you're going to get taken down or your legs gonna kick etc there's so many angles of this guy so i will link this at least the words in the pin comments so you guys can find it this is a really cool channel it's on billy billy i will look forward to more content from them by the way this is the same guy that took on the muay thai guy where in the first round he threw the muay thai guy a few times so this is one of my favorite channels now and he only has about 500 subscribers on billy billy so maybe those of you who have billy billy can go follow him Okay, this was Fight Commentary Breakdowns.